Okay, we're doing one last piece of the video here where I will assemble this. I had found a better way, so I kind of abandoned the old way I was doing it. And the new way is to take everything off. So I'm going to start with these. And notice I've got this spanner, which is the original Husqvarna spanner. There's a difference, right, in the size and the pitch. Other spanners, this will be tapered out, which doesn't really fit into some of these holes. So what I like to do is come in and if you've got room, because I have this set at a certain height, don't I? Two and a half inches, which is what I like to cut the boards at. And I can plane them sufficiently if I'm not going to use them as rough lumber. So I'm going to take these bolts all the way out. I didn't like to do that before. I thought I had a good system before. But there was a problem with that. I'll show you here in a sec. So these bolt heads just kind of clear this mounting bracket the way I have it set. Well, no. That's attached to this, attached to this. So they're always going to be in the way there. These bolt heads over here as well, from this perspective, they are barely clear in it. So they're a little bit hard to get to. It'd be nice to have an open end, almost a ratchet and open end type of deal. I might have to, I might invest in one of those. Hey, I know they make it cool like that. Right? So, okay, taking these off, you'll notice I left the quarter inch screws in there and tighten these bolts down just enough so that they didn't wiggle out and lose them. I like to keep them handy and I've got a couple extra in my chainsaw kit for that reason. So what I like to do and set these up and I have drilled these I did not tap them so they're not threaded these are just you just push them in but they're quarter inch and quarter inch screws fit in there and this is the problem I've had with that the wiggle room there so what I'm going to do is set this down on the holes and try to get that lined up this top part is of course going to be like that so there we go there's one I lost my other didn't I because it was under here Yep. So back on it, and just put that in, just put that in, like it's that simple, I'm struggling with it, come on now, get in there, you too good for your hole, go in your hole, where's the hole, can't find a hole, okay yeah, and then it's got these nuts on the bottom, which makes it kind of wobble a little more, there's got to be an alternative to that, because that is a hollow tube, hmm, I have to think about that. That could be a better design right there. So then these screws in there. Now this one's going to come up. So I'm going to end up losing it a little bit. So balance these just right. Kind of sort of right. If you can. If you can get them right. And then you got to kind of twist and turn just a little bit. Come on. Line up. Now, this is the other trick here is getting this sucker lined up but honestly it's not bad compared to the other way I was doing it the other way I kind of had to fight with a lot of things here's this make sure that washers on there I am bad about losing washers so I end up with less so I may need to put some of those in my kit too so once that drops in Kind of get the thread started, but you don't want to lift up on it because those quarter inch screws will come out of that hole and you kind of sort of lose it. So I ended up using two screws and drilling. I actually drilled a hole in my bar for the back hole, and that was me. I had to do that, and I just did it with a I didn't use a proper bit, I didn't use uh, you know, metal drilling methods such as a lubricant on the drill bed or anything I just pushed a drill through it at a quarter inch and made a hole I figure the price of a bar can be a lot these are tough bars so I kind of hit it with a hit it with a tap to get an indentation so the drill wouldn't skip around I'm sure most people watching this have kind of done those kind of things before so the trick to this is just getting it even you don't want it tightened down one side so it's lopsided so just kind of eyeball it and you can tell 
Let me show you. Cause I gotta show you. You can tell if it's even from the space here in the plate. You don't need it super parallel. You just need it to pinch that bolt head. And what happens is it just keeps the bar from moving, which is perfect. You don't need to worry about how tight it is. You know, make sure your pinch is right. You don't got to worry about your bar slipping. This is amazing. I mean, it's a one and done kind of a kind of a thing. It is still a bit of a struggle to use this whole setup. And I've seen the others that I haven't used that the little short thing that clips on the bar and rides along the side. Of a, I forget what those are called, but I'm going to do one of those next. In fact, I should order one because I got a I got a, uh, a cut coming up this weekend at a friend's house. Those would be awesome. So now that you've got those screw heads in there, you don't need to crank crank you don't need to crank this down too much, which is another great thing. Once it makes contact, it's it's set. Before you had to worry about the amount of pressure. How how hard do I, you know, how many foot pounds? You know, this, these are these are kind of hand tight. You go more, but you you just kind of pushing metal to metal and squishing something at that point. Um, so it's not super important, and that's a benefit. That's a huge benefit because you don't have to worry about it. There's, there's I think running this, I don't know how many times you run this, you know, before you need to take off the chain and sharpen it, which you probably should do, remove it from the mechanism before sharpening the chain. So, they're not going to come loose during however many cuts you're going to make. So there it is, it's mounted. And I still have my set height, which is great. If I come down a little more on that height, then I have trouble getting anything in there, spanner in there, at the right size of course, it's going to hit on this, it's just kind of a problem. Now, if you are going to cut thinner pieces, I would recommend investing in some kind of an open end, the ratcheting would be great, but I don't know if you can tell, so this is a little bit loose, but it ain't going nowhere, and it is pinched pretty good, let me show you the pinch, see if that's even worthy of viewing, I'm sure if you are at home and doing this, you're going to see, so we've got a nice tight sandwich there and then we've got can you see the bolt the quarter inch bolt over here I can see the head of it which is nice right on I mean to me this is I, I, I'm going to double check these for security safety reasons I got to make sure everything's safe See a little bit of washboard there. Nice flat cut. Nice. Yeah, that knot where I kind of went around that a little bit there, a couple places where I stopped. 
I'm gonna uh, get the hand planer on those and fix that up, but looks good.